you're here. Today I am going to be doing, could be our last collab for a while on our Colourpop series with Nona from My So Called Life 1977 and with Angie from 4F Beauty and Lifestyle because we were doing a series on all the little Colourpop palettes that we had in common and this is the last one that I have in common with both of them. So but a sweet because um, I enjoy doing this series with them but I'm sure we will collab again in the future over something I have no doubt. So we're doing the Blue Moon palette and um, we decided we hadn't just done a plain palette bingo so that's what we're going to do just a, a normal a normal bingo so we're doing blues the blue to go with the blue so I'm going to find my randomizer. So this is the numbers that I got. So I got number two first, which is Ever D. So a nice periwinkle blue matte. Number three, that was the next one. So I got Moonlight, which is this one here. Another match. Light sky blue. Number four. Two, three, four, five. Really? <laughs> the starry eye. Which is another match. Five, which is Billy Jean, which is a shimmer. And number eight. Which is another match. So I got lots of mattes, which is a darker blue. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with those colours. Well, I think I just want to do something fairly simple today because it is a hot summer day and I don't want to wear tons and tons of makeup and I think I will start off with the moonlight, which is this light one here. I forgot to prime my eyes, but never mind. But out of practice, because I haven't actually worn makeup for two weeks. <laughs> so that's interesting. I've got a fold line here. I don't know if that'll show up on camera, but I can see it in real life because um, I didn't prime, so I'm not making sure that my moisturizer hadn't settled anyway. <laughs> so, first day back at school today for my youngest from the summer holiday. I'm just doing a sweep of colour. So we had to get up early and get her to school on time, I think. I'm going to go in with Debbie here. Oh, because I didn't want the colours to go too bright, it's probably actually quite good that I didn't prime. Because when I prime, the colours go a lot brighter. Pop that fall out all over my face, but never mind. And I'm going to do starry eyed. I got that one, didn't I? That's so good. And I'm going to put that underneath. I'm going to need to do some cleaning up when I've finished because I'm making a bit of a mess. My glasses have been rubbing right here and I got them fixed but it's better than it was but it's still not right. 
It's leaving a mark. And I've got two left. So I've got Fine China and Billy Doom. I think. I'm going to use my Colourpop gel liner in lots of strong cool prints, which is a bit of that. I'm going to line the top. Oops, and I just broke it. Let's try that again. Oops. Oh, it's melted. It's too hot here. I told you it was hot. So I'll just have it barely out and then maybe I might get somewhere. And a little brush. I'm going to go in with fine china. Let's use this one here. And I'm going to stamp it on top so that it sticks to the liner. Now, I'm going to clean up. I might have a few extra freckles from being at the beach. I wore sunscreen, but you get freckles on anyone. <laughs> and I need some primer. And I'm sorry I don't practice. I hardly wore makeup at all this long. I'll do um, a video and say what I've been doing this month since I haven't been around much. my face with some hydrating spray and I'm going to try my pretty fresh which is from Colourpop my foundation tonight. Now please go and check out Angie and Nona. They're both wonderful people. Very supportive and fun to watch and very authentic and I really enjoy both of them and consider them to be friends even though we've never actually meet in person and we live so far away from each other it's been a real pleasure working with both of you and thank you for letting me postpone for a month <laughs> because um, I had things happening last month and I just I couldn't do the filming so I will catch up in a later video about what has been happening last month some of it's good some of it wasn't so good but um Everything's fine now, so <laughs> we don't have to. You don't have to be worried about me at all. I've had a few people contacting me through YouTube and Instagram saying, oh, "I haven't seen you for a while. Is everything okay?" So everything is okay. I've, I've had a good break. <laughs> so th thank you for your understanding and letting me um, postpone this video. And I'm kind of sad that it's the series is finishing because I haven't got any more palettes in common with both of you but I'm sure we'll come up with some other ideas along the way over the year and please go and check them both out you won't be disappointed if you go and check them out and comment on their videos and they will answer back and chat with you and you you'll be amazed at how close a relationship or how many wonderful people you can meet just through doing that on YouTube and I love you both so much, and I hope that you've all had a great month, because I've been so out of touch, I haven't been near the internet for the last two weeks, because we were somewhere where there was no internet, so <laughs> I don't know what's happening, I don't know what anyone's been doing, so I'm going to catch up on things over the next month, and find out what everyone's been up to. As you can see, the Pretty Fresh foundation, and I use the Pretty Fresh Colourpop concealer and it just gives a very light coverage so I'm not going for anything too heavy today and I don't think I'll powder today either so I'm going to use the last colour which is bleaching and I'm going to use that on my inner corner And 
then I think I will go back into Moonlight, which is that very first pale colour, and just make sure that I haven't missed any bits. Oops, dropped my brush. And, you know what, I'm not going to put anything up here at all. I've just got some concealer on there. Just tidy up under here a little bit. With that starry light colour. Using the same brush that I used for my inner corner. My face feels very moist. <laughs> and I am going to use my blush, which is the Dream Matte Blush from Maybelline. So it is a cream blush. Now, I'm going to use my stipple brush to put this on. So I'm just putting that in there, making sure I have not too much on my brush. Because if I go over with um, powder, you know, I'll lose that kind of dewy effect. going for fairly simple since it's a hot summer day and I feel like I still want to be on vacation. So I'm not even, I'm not contouring. I'm not even bronzing today because I haven't got a liquid bronzer and I don't want to use powder today. So. And I do want some highlighter though. I have got some pink highlighter. Hang on, let me find it. <laughs> Put my cream Chi Chi Replacent Glow Highlighter Chip, which has lots of different colours here. with a little bit of the rainbow which is kind of bluey purple and then on top I'll put the star one which is just a champagne very light white so it's, it's slightly warm but it's mostly just a champagne color and I'm going to use my stipple brush again and I think no I'm not actually I'm just going to use my finger My fingernails are a mess because <laughs> I haven't had them done for a while. My daughter wanted to get hers done, so I decided not to get mine done and she could get hers done for the Christmas break. And I knew I was going camping and things, so I just decided not to get them done. We've only been back, we came back, not yesterday, the day before, so yesterday I spent doing lots of washing and sorting out camping stuff. And um, today I make this filmed. It was like, do I put some nail polish on my nails or do I get this filmed before it gets too hot in this room? <laughs> because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do it in here. And I decided I would just put up with the, the nails and um, get this filmed. Now I'm going to use my finger again and go into the stars one, which is the light one. I could put, let's see if it works. I could have put a little bit of that stars one as my highlighter. It's a stray eyeball here. Just, just subtly. And I think I will use my stipple brush just to blend this out a little bit. So just when I turn my face, I get a bit of a highlight. 
And now I'm going to spray my face with my pretty fish. Do we spray? It's got almost a coconut kind of smell. Yeah, mascara. I haven't worn mascara for so long. Oh. Fun to have my lashes again. I'm going to use, what am I using? My Elizabeth Arden Standing Ovation Mascara. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to pet it, but my under eyes are crossing a little bit. So we um, we had to go to Auckland during the month, which I'll tell you about later. But while we were there, I went into, now what was that? Was that Mecca Max, I think it was. And um, they had Laura Mercier. And I splurged and got the secret powder for under eyes. So I'm going to use it on my under eyes. And it's very, very fine. So I know... Oh, don't waste it. It was really expensive. <laughs> For me, it was really expensive. But I wanted to try it out. And I've used it a few times and I quite like it. But I am using it very sparingly. That's all, I, all I'm going to use. Just, just a bit creasing. I'm going to cough. The only piece of makeup that I bought that was open open. and um, it's the only piece of makeup I think I think it's the only bit of makeup that I bought this month. I to think about that a <laughs> right. I need to get my hair done again because the grey is coming through, but I didn't want to do it before I went camping. Because, um, there's no point when you're colouring your hair and then you go swimming in the sea and you have to wash it every day because it's got salt and that in it. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to go and get an expensive colour before I go on holiday. So we'll do that sometime in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully. Now, what colour lipstick do I want? I'm wearing blue and I don't know whether you'll see and black shorts with the little flowers on them so um very summery looking and I think maybe I'll go for this one. So this is Colourpop as well. I apparently I'm just gonna wear Colourpop all over today just about uh, this is from the Sweet Talk collection and it was seven springs. So a beautiful orangey lipstick. <laughs> I haven't whitened my teeth for a while, and that's this lipstick is making my teeth look yellow. So, I'm not going to better do that tonight. <laughs> I don't like that one, actually. Not, with, not for what I'm going for today. Let me take it off. It's not what I was going for. I think I need something more natural. I think I'll just go for a gloss. So I'm just going to go for a gloss This is in the colour Snuggle. And this is not colourful. Yeah, I think I'm going, going something more that colour. Something more natural looking. I just need to put my hair in some. A little pom poms in. And um, there is my very simple blue look with the blue moon palette. Doing just the palette bingo. Something simple, something easy. Touch of blue, but not too in your face, I think. So, I'd like to thank Angie, and I'd like to thank Nona for doing this series with me. I had lots of fun, and I've really enjoyed playing with all my Colourpop 9 
color palette eyeshadow eyeshadow palette <laughs> and well words haven't improved since I have had a break <laughs> So I really enjoy playing with all the colours and coming up with different ideas for doing different things and different challenges for them and I've loved having fun with Nona and Angie and Marika and please go and check them out and I will put their links down below so that you can see their channels as well and I will catch up with what I've been doing for the last month in my next video so bye, bye. we'll see you later